can we refer to me and help? But there sometimes is the poor, and sometimes there is the sickness. And so that's um, where we have the Spirit of Christ, who shows us to be tough even in the difficult times. That's why he marched up to Calvary. That's why he said the Son of Man must be crucified. That's why he was humbled in order to be exalted. That's the whole mystery of the cross. The mystery of the cross means it's so grand, we, we can't possibly begin to take it all in. The meaning behind the sacrifices of love is there. But the temptation today is to run away from the cross, to reject it.
they did it in a way that was fun. I'll never forget the time of man. I think it was right before New Year's, and I went to the nursing home to give the sacraments to his mom. And they said, Father, she has a few arms. And I said to her son, I said, stay with your mother, she has a few arms now. He says, that's not my job. That's the job of the nurses. This is New Year's Eve. I'm going to go out and have fun. I'm not going to stay with my mother. He said, she only has a few hours. Believe me, you will regret it if you don't stay with her. Oh, no. That's the job of the nurses and doctors. That's what I came in for. Sure enough, I went off and left her, and she died of that. Alone. All alone. Because her son wanted to have fun. Well, that's not what Jesus teaches us. And the reason why it's so fantastic for Jesus, he is God. He could have avoided all sufferings. He didn't have to go to the cross for us. He's God. He could have come down from the cross. He could have sent a, a whirlwind of flames to destroy all those who were putting him to death. He could have been totally different, but he shows us the way of love, which is in the humility. That's why we have to be children of the light, he said. Don't follow the darkness. Walk whilst you have the light, and the darkness overtake you. That's an encouragement to us all. What good we can do if we take up the cross, if we make commitments, if we're faithful to the church? We have this beautiful Latin Mass, the Latin Mass Society in the parish. We need to make our commitments to these good things, to build up the church. To love the church. I remember Pope Paul VI telling us seminarians, he said, I'm, I'm afraid that you only see the negative. Love the church. The church is not built up by its critics. Were you ever built up by your critics, the people that only look at your faults? That only, that only uh, tell you that you're no good? That's what the world tells us. We're no good. We're ugly. We're old. We're dumb. We don't measure up. And if we believe that, we're in trouble. Now, the bill of the church is built up by those who love, even though we have to be tough, we have to be strong. We don't let the darkness to us keep in there. As the old timers say, you either get better or bitter. We don't want to be bitter, sour, but filled with the love of Jesus. And that's such a triumph. And here is the romance of the Christian life. Taking up the cross day after day, being faithful, even in the ordinary things, the smallest
Yeah, yeah, yeah.